Hey Cashers, Derek here, Baker Six Clan. Today we are gonna be meeting up with a cashier who makes very creative and simple gadget caches that most people can create them with just a few tools. So with this pandemic going on, one of the things that I've really missed is getting to meet up with cache owners and talk to them about the caches that they created. And so today I actually used StreamYard and I met up with the truck and here is that conversation all right so here i am with dan or the truck now dan <laughs> you're going to show us a way to create a a very simple pvc gadget cache so tell us a little bit about this cache and then let's see how you how it's made well it's really simply a spring-loaded cache if you ever played uh pinball you it's very similar to starting off the game and it's a just a nice really easy mechanism um really it's just a piece of PVC cap and any length of PVC you'll have to cut it down to the size of the spring you have so when it shoots the container out um, you can find it. I recommend using an orange container or something really bright to find because sometimes these will fly out pretty far and it's really uh, the best part of it is it's super cheap you know you're looking maybe a dollar for a cap two dollars or so for the for the pipe and then your bolt now I used a six inch carriage bolt, two fender washers, and I use a locking nut, which that way it doesn't, uh, you don't have to worry about it coming apart. Um, Cause you want something that's easy to maintain. That's the most important part. I actually have one of these that's live. It's been live for four years and it's been working really well. And these are fender washers, just a little extra size washer. And here's the hard part, the spring. Finding a good spring that'll work. Uh, any hardware store will have them and uh we'll drill a hole at the bottom of your your cache real easy there just right there in the middle uh, make sure it's really loose so that way this has a lot of free play you don't want it binding up as you're working on it and you'll put uh, your bolt through the fender washer on spring another fender washer and i'm just going to finger tight this on but usually i'll bolt it on just so it's just tight to the top. And that's really all there is to the putting together of it. And it should hang, so when it's in there, you got just enough there to get a hold of. So when you put it in the cache, then you just take your length of PVC. I used inch and a half, um, but you can go down to an inch and a quarter or depending on the size. And you just make sure you sand this off done, put a, some primer and a good uh, PVC glue because you don't want that coming loose um, over time. And that's, yeah, you know, and that's what it'll look like. Um, I attached mine to a board, and then I attached, then I zip tied it fast to a tree. Um, I've gotten quite a few favorite points from it, and then I just have a regular matchstick container, um, and you just drop it down in there. And that's the best part is you can just pull it and pop out, and because it wasn't glued, it'll come apart. All right. Now I just really love that. I mean, it, it's simple, but it's creative, and oh, cool just absolutely amazing and because not a lot of people or let me say it rephrase that not everybody has the tools and the woodworking and everything like what i do um so so really all it requires is a saw and a drill pretty much is as tool wise yes. and not even a power saw a, a good hacksaw will do the trick because pvc is so easy to cut and it's, these are four or five dollars at harbor freight or walmart or that it's just a nice easy tool to have around and use um, I, I, it's one of my big, PVC is my favorite, uh, media to use when I'm building caches simply because it's so easy to work with. You can mess it up and it's not expensive. You know, some woods you get into, you know, they don't last long. Um, I've had some squirrels chewing on this. The bottom of this is starting to show a little bit on the, the one I have out. And it's, like I said, it's been off for four years in a state game land. So there's a lot of wildlife there. And the fact that it's held up so well is really uh, one of my favorite things about this cache. That's really cool. Now, do you put a hole in the bottom for water to run out in case it rains, or what do you do there? Well, because you have the uh, where the shooter is, where your thing is, and the way it's mounted, that'll it'll constantly keep the water out of it. It doesn't allow it to drain in at all. It doesn't have any. Uh, and then because your spring holds the uh, cache up, you know, even if you do get like a little bit of water in the bottom, it doesn't get into the cache. It's actually a really uh, watertight 
for not having, you know, there's just nothing that gets into it that makes it any, that hinders it from working. And even and this is right under a tree and I've never had leaves get caught up in it either. That's really cool. And like I said, just a very simple but creative gadget cache using the PVC. And if you like pinball, hey, it's cache pinball. So uh, it's really great. It looks like I would really love to find this one. I found something similar to this in South Carolina, but not to that size. And I just really like that. It's very creative. Yeah, I, I, a friend of mine actually built one of these probably about 50 miles from where I'm at, where I found him. Like, and I was like, that's a really cool device he did there. So I actually uh, mimicked it and uh, was like, well, how do I build that? So it was the, the trial and error of finding the right spring was the, uh, because the strength of your spring is going to de uh, determine the length of the pipe you can use. Because I started out with the pipe and it would barely, it wouldn't quite get out. And so now this one, the spring I have here is about a five inch spring. And that's got a lot of, uh, it, you can pull it pretty hard and it'll uh, give a nice sh shot out. And uh, I would show you how this kicks out, but I don't think you, the camera will catch it flying out. <laughs> but uh, we'll, give it a, we'll give it a shot and see if it comes out. And I don't shoot my uh, daughter's laptop out. Yeah, I love that. That is just really cool. And I can definitely see how gluing that bottom is going to be very important so it doesn't pop out. Well, Dan, thank you so much for being part of Behind the Cash today. I have missed getting to do these interviews like this and talking to other people and how they make their caches. So I just really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me on. I enjoy the show and I've, I've learned a lot from what you've shown us. So. Wow, that was just so much fun getting to meet up with Dan and talk to him about that cache absolutely love it and love how it's very simple but very creative and a lot of fun to find all right guys thank you for joining me today let me know in the comments have you ever found a cache like that the pinball style cache like that and if you have let me know and i'd love to hear about it all right don't go anywhere check out another one of these videos right over here and find out the story behind the cache